The main conclusions from our session, uh, I would say, were three. The first one, the importance of cooperation. That's why the European Travel Commission is so committed with the next tour in order to develop the tourism of future. The second one is how this cooperation needs to leave uh, the memorandum of understanding and pass to actions, concrete actions. And the third one is how much support the sector needs. We're talking about a small and medium enterprises sector all across Europe that need funding uh, regionally, nationally, but also from the European level, from the European Commission, uh, that need support in order to train their staff, retain them and attract them back to the activity and thirdly to transform the territory in order to have a more sustainable uh, activity for the future. I would say the biggest challenges are three. The first one has to do with, with what we are discussing here, technology, how to embrace technology and digital, not only for the sake of communication uh, and sales, but also for the efficiency of our operations. Um, gathering the data that we all have, uh, sharing it and bringing knowledge to everyone. The second one, I would say, uh, has to do with sustainability. How do we have a more resilient sector, but also more inclusive one, uh, a sector and an industry that protects the planet that respects the differences and includes people uh, wherever we are. And the third challenge has to do with people. Uh, there won't be a digital or an environmental transition if we don't have the people on our side. And by people, we talk about tourists. We need them to be the drivers of the change. We need them to make the right choices when they travel, when they go on holidays, when they go on business anywhere, or when they, are, they organize an event. Uh, and most important, we need the workers. We need those who work in the tourism sector. We need to improve their qualifications. We need to show them that this is an inclusive sector and we cannot have a sector that has 60% of women working on it, but their salaries are 15 to 20% lower than men because they occupy lower uh, careers. Uh, we need to increase the loyalty of those who work in this sector already by improving their wages, giving them benefits, showing them that this is a proper career for the future. So I would say these are the three challenges. And as any challenge, it, they are also very good opportunities for the sector to build back. And I'm sure that Europe is committing in transforming itself into a more resilient, but most important, a more sustainable, uh, activity and industry in the world. Events like this uh, are an example of the importance of sharing knowledge. Uh, being here talking about technology and tourism together, talking about digital and physical, talking about the territory and how we promote it or how we sell it or how we develop it, it's uh, a wonderful example that uh, we do have to share knowledge and share experiences. This cooperation and coordination in so many levels, public, private, national, international, regional, national, it's a huge opportunity in order to improve and to address the challenges that I said previously. I think that seeing these, all the panels, the discussions, but most important, the networking that we have around it is a wonderful example of how we want uh, the travel and, and tourism industry of the future, which has to be better if we want a better planet. Mm -hmm.